Hi everyone. I want to tell you about some webcams that are live. I'll link below to what I found, but if any of you know of webcams, especially webcams that are inland in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, yeah, your governor now has declared a state of emergency and is talking power outages. Um, but webcams, not just on the ocean so that we can watch the waves, but inland. I'd really like to see the webcams inland. Now, North Carolina, we've already heard that power outages for 5,000 have taken place. Duke Energy has closed down a nuclear power plant. Um, and we've seen some videos of flooded roads in uh, the coastal areas of North Carolina. Sorry, I had to pause you for a second, so uh, I, I may have cut myself off. I'll link below to William Mount's video, Flooding Reported Before Hurricane Florence Hits Land. It's on Zero Hedge. And there's a video of all of this water just streaming down a coastal um, street here in North Carolina. But it's not raining. Webcams show it hasn't even begun to rain. Where did this water come from? I do want to tell you that the flooding that has been occurring, the flash flooding, haven't you seen videos of the flash flooding on streets and the water spouting up? really quite uh, powerfully from storm drains um, and manhole manholes. I believe that part of the flash flooding is occurring not just from rain but closing off storm drains and perhaps even opening up fire hydrants in evacuated areas where nobody is around. Where did this water come from in North Carolina? on the streets already when the webcam show no rain. And I do want to say that, uh, I don't know how long ago, two years ago, I drove out to Baton Rouge and Baton Rouge was so flooded. And when I got to that area, all I heard was Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge on mainstream media. It was not, it was so widespread, the flooding, but mainstream media was just reporting on one area. It was all over. And driving through these areas after the flood, when the waters recede, it is so heartbreaking to see home after home after home, neighborhood after neighborhood after neighborhood of belongings out on the street. Everybody just throwing out everything from their homes. And it wasn't just the poor neighborhoods. It was very wealthy. I posted videos very wealthy areas in Baton Rouge were, well, they had their belongings out on the road as well. But I interviewed people and two people said that they heard, so I couldn't verify it, that they had closed off the storm drains, that the, the sewer system, they closed them off. They weren't open. That's why areas that were not in the flood plain, the flood zones, were flooded. And I interviewed this man. Oh, God. He and his son, they moved to Baton Rouge, purposely, deliberately picking, choosing a, a home that was not within a flood zone. And there they were flooded out again but they were flooded out in New Orleans in 2005 Katrina so you don't have to be in a flood zone to get flooded now and how they are doing it I think that doing it in there's a lot of different ways that they can achieve three feet of water four feet of water for days on end. So um, the webcams I believe are especially important to point out that things might not be quite what mainstream media is saying and 
I would be checking these webcams because they're going to be turning them off. But there's no rain here. This is North Carolina. Yeah, the winds are whipping up, but there's no rain, as you can see. And here, the Outer Banks, North Carolina. Didn't I just put a video up and didn't I say something about the Outer Banks? 5,000 people have already lost power. And as you can see, this is a beach in, um, this is the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Surf's up. Well, don't you have days when you have a lot of uh, good surfing? But there's no rain. No rain. So where is that water coming from? That is in that article of, um, but on uh, the Zero Hedges website. Where is all of this water coming from if there's no rain? Oh my God. Why can't we get through to our fellow Americans when everything is right smack in their face? So this is another webcam. It's on YouTube. I'll link below to this site, William Mount's, Mount's uh, video. This site here, North Carolina webcams, South Carolina webcams, all of these are links, Virginia webcams. And if, please, you know, anybody, if you don't know and you want to do the search to try to find webcams inland in Virginia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia, please share the links below in the comment section. So, um, we don't see any rain yet. We see winds. I don't know uh, where this area, this uh, YouTube video is. He just, Hurricane Florence, live cam, storm watch. It's no doubt in North Carolina, but where in North Carolina? It's been raining a little bit, but we don't see f splashing on the boardwalk, boardwalk. And we see some, you know, pretty big waves, but not 83 feet and 100 feet. Granted, this is the beginning. And I do think that, well, the surf is going to be a lot higher at some point. But so far, what they're reporting about the outages and why? From what? Well, we saw Hurricane Irma, Florida. I had subscribers leaving me messages. Our power was turned off 12 hours before Irma uh, made landfall in Florida. They're turning off power. I, I just, I, I cannot comprehend this, this level of evil. How, how can you? You know, you try to put yourself in their shoes. You try to imagine what kind of human being can, can just deliberately destroy other human beings, other life, Four legs, all of it. How? How do they do this? That that is a level of evil. I, I just can't. It's incomprehensible to me. Anyway, I'll link below. Stay safe, everybody. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Oh, I also wanted to say, you know, um, I got a comment from a subscriber who. I've got to go back to it now because, well, I'm going to pause you. Here it is, strong heart woman. So, she said one of the best solar powered hand crank water resistant lead flashlight AM FM NOAA weather radios I ever bought was at Walmart. Walmart. There's a two pack for $27.98. Well, after seeing this comment, I went to Walmart. They didn't have it. And they had very few flashlights left and not a whole hell of a lot of batteries. So those of you in upstate South Carolina, those of you in Georgia, those of you in uh, western North Carolina or inland Virginia, I really would 
stock up now stock up now don't wait until the shelves are empty now it's Thursday in Anderson South Carolina I left at about two o'clock and voila not much left and in fact the water aisle was pretty much um, like half of it was empty so we don't know what's going to be happening and I, I overheard a couple of conversations customers and they talking to people who work in the stores and people are saying oh I don't think it's going to be that bad I think it's going to be fine I think it's going to be fine you know with these crazy motherfuckers I'm sorry for cursing we don't know anymore we just don't know when they can create floods and create fires and just turn off your power um, yeah we're all vulnerable now to whatever these evil people whatever their whims may be it's such a sick time to be living but we are living it so don't wait until you can't find this this uh, portable dynamo solar radio and yeah I mean flashlight AM FM uh, NOAA weather radios that I wish I could find one here I, I would buy it alright thanks guys links below please if you have the links to live webcams Drop them in the comment section. Thank you very much, guys. Stay safe. Prepare.